riding Vietnam? Hmm, I pictured rutted dirt roads with the occasional patchy bit of paved road. But this place is a road riding mecca, with stunning ocean views along the coast highway and endless corners as you wind through the highlands for days on end. It is a good morning. A great night's sleep in a very comfortable hotel on the coast in Nha Trang. One thing that kept amazing us was the quality of the hotels in each town and how cheap they were. Your dollar definitely goes a long way in Vietnam. Our motley crew saddles up and we head inland. Today's destination, Da Lat. A beautiful town that is the gateway to the central highlands. The plan is to get us off the beaten track as much as possible. <laughs> and this happens pretty quickly with the narrowest bridge I have ever ridden across. The adventure could start quickly today. Our guide says there was a major landslide in the mountains overnight and traffic is banked up for miles. But it seems roads get fixed very quickly here and overnight they have already cleared the road and traffic is flowing again. photos and films about Vietnam led me to believe the whole country was flat as a pancake and covered in rice paddies. That may be the case along the coastline, but once you head inland, the country is dominated by mountain ranges. Along with the change in terrain comes a change in climate too. The hot, humid conditions of the coast disappear as we climb into the foothills and enjoy some cool air along with the views. I'm impressed, but the guides keep saying, I ain't seen nothing yet. Everyone loved our guides. Cheeky, fun, informative. <laughs> and bloody good cooks too. If there wasn't a decent restaurant stop for lunch, we would pull up somewhere in a scenic, shady spot and they would cook up a storm. Ah, good Vietnamese cooking. Nice pasta. We are a professional chef in Vietnam. Yeah. Not much they enjoy. <laughs> nice one, guys. Everyone loved the bikes too. There are tough size restrictions in Vietnam, but we all agreed you would probably get into trouble fast with too much power on these roads. The country has come a long way since being ravaged by the Vietnam War or the American War, as it's known here. As we get further into the mountains, the roads are still paved and in great condition. And even when we got into more remote areas later, the roads were still fine. I asked the tour guides if they had thought about getting adventure bikes, but it seems the government has done such a good job of paving all the roads, there's no point. I asked about dirt riding, and they said there is a bit of dirt riding in the far north, but most of it is either illegal or riding in questionable areas at best. So they decided to stick with road riding. And I can see why, even though I'm a dirt rider at heart, 
This is a rider's paradise. Dalat, gateway to the highlands. Beautiful temples, crisp mountain air, and a curious blend of Vietnamese culture and its French colonial past. The French made this their retreat from the hot coastal areas. The Americans did the same during the war. The temples are inspiring, but before we get too spiritual, we remember there's a pile of cold beer waiting for us at the hotel. So it's helmets on a final time. Tonight, we get a real slice of French colonial history, one of the old style hotels and its old world charm. Now, where's that beer? Cheers, 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 cheers. Cheers, man. Cheers, mate. Good day. Absolutely. Upper crust adventure <laughs> at its best. They say it's, uh, it's the accommodation to your liking. And a bag. I'm very happy with my gold gilded chair. 